Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Tech Support. Today we're going to be having a quick look at the new UK emergency broadcast system that will be on your mobile phones and tablets. Now apparently they'll be doing some tests during 2023, so that's why I'm making this quick video. But you can rest assured no personal data has been given out. All that you need to do is make sure that you have the latest Android device or iOS. It will work on iOS 14.5 or greater, or Android tablets or phones running Android 11 or greater. If you've got an older version, it may still work. All that you have to do is check your settings, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what you want to do, I'll see if I can put a phone on the screen. You swipe down, come to your settings, search settings, and search for emergency alerts and then it will come up and then you see where it's flashing red tap on that one and this is your settings for your emergency alerts and you'll only get that if you've got a compatible device here you can opt out of any of the settings just by turning them off and you've got extreme alerts severe alerts and you can change if it's going to do vibration or not you can see current past alerts or service test alerts on the gov.uk website and links for them will be down below. Your mobile phone or tablet doesn't have to be connected to mobile data or Wi-Fi to get the alerts. The alerts are free to receive and you don't need to sign up to them or download an app for it as it's built into the operating system of the device. The emergency services and the UK government do not need your phone number to send you an alert. It's just going to be done by the local master that your phone is connected to. No data about you, your device or your location will be collected or shared. The reasons you're going to get the alert might be severe flooding, fires, extreme weather events, public health emergencies. Emergency alerts will only be sent out by the emergency service, government departments and bodies that deal with emergency services and emergency events. When you get an alert, your mobile device will make a loud siren sound like this. Even if it's on silent or vibrate, it'll also vibrate as well. It'll read out the alert and the sound and vibration will last for about 10 seconds. An alert will include a phone number and a link to the gov.uk website for more information. You'll get the alert based on your current location, not where you live or work. You do not need to turn location services on. This is done again by using the local mast that your device is connected to. So it's the mast sending out the alert. Um, so that's how you're not being traced. It's just being sent out to everyone, not to individuals. You will not receive an alert if your device is turned off or in airplane mode, connected to a network older than 4G, or connected by Wi-Fi only, or is just not compatible. Well, I do hope you found this video informative and helpful. Please do remember to share it because these tests are going to go around during 2023 and could actually cause false alarm and panic. So just let people know. So cheers for sharing the video. Well, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, share and subscribe. Also click that bell notification icon. You can also follow us on our social medias, which are down the side there. And if you did really enjoy the video, you could either give us a super thanks thumbs up on YouTube and we get the donation from there. Or you can give us a one-off PayPal donation. Or even better, you could subscribe to our Patreon and become a patron, which we'd really, really appreciate. And that would help us pay for the equipment and that allow us to buy new, new equipment to do reviews for as well. All the links will be down in the description down below. Well, that's it for now. Hope to see you all again next time. As always, have a great day. Bye for now.